Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we are doing a chit chat get ready with me. Um, this is the third one that I have filmed um, of these already and I was like thinking I was like why do I enjoy doing these so much because like you know my channel is primarily focused on reading and fiber arts. And I don't do it to, like, become a makeup influencer. I just personally like makeup. Um, also, it's not so much about the makeup as much as it is about how I like to just... I just like to talk. I feel like it gives me um, kind of the freedom and the ability to talk about things that I probably wouldn't be able to talk about, like, in my podcast episodes or you know, in any of my reading ones, and it also is just a way to, like, kind of just, I feel like, connect with you guys in, like, a more human way, I guess, because, like, don't get me wrong, love doing my podcast and every other video that I do, like, I genuinely enjoy it so much, but it can also sometimes be it I mean they are scripted videos because I'm talking about very specific things and I want to make sure that I'm hitting all of my talking points whereas like something like this I mean the way in which like I talk to myself like talking to the camera very much flows in the same way of like if we were to be sitting down having a conversation together and I like that and I want to be able to you know cultivate that kind of relationship with you guys so hopefully, I know that like makeup isn't for everyone, but I hope that we can like sit and understand that this is like, I guess an opportunity not to talk about makeup, but to talk about anything and everything. Um, so yeah, it is Saturday, uh, January 27th. We are almost done with the month of January and I I have so much I want to get done today. Both my roommates are working. And that's when I get the bulk of my filming done. Because it's, I don't, I want to project my voice and like be a little bit louder. And I don't want my roommates to hear me. Not because I'm talking about anything crazy or talking about them. But it's like, I just want to be able to speak. I don't know. I just, it's like a performance thing. I wouldn't want them to like hear what I'm saying I don't know maybe one day I'll get over that but for now like we live in such a small apartment and we're all relatively like quiet people so it's kind of like oh if I'm the only one who's making noise in the apartment like yeah we can all hear you Taylor it, that sort of thing I guess even though like I don't even feel like I'm being that loud but, you know, it's just like a comic. But, yeah, oh, I'm so excited for Valentine's Day. I finished up the present for my best friend. Um, I made her a stingray. And I'm not an amigurumi artist. Like, I, for lack of better words, I suck at it. But she actually, it's so funny how, like, social media knows who your friends are. Like, my two best friends who, like, don't crochet send me crochet videos all the time so um yeah she loves stingrays and she came across this stingray pattern and she was like oh, I need him his name is going to be Julio as in Don Julio tequila <laughs> so of course I like got that pattern and it's really really good uh, I need to remember I'll probably mention it in my podcast right yeah it, I mean it didn't take me any time at all it was the fastest amigurumi and it also like didn't hurt my hands and honestly I kind of want to make one for myself now but they didn't have much of the yarn that it calls for at Michael's on the pattern though it does say like you can use this with any size hook and any um any yarn and like from looking at the pattern it's pretty transferable but like I don't know doing it the first time I wanted to do it right I wanted it to be big I want her to be able to like snuggle with it I don't know my best friend's not one really for um stuffed animals <laughs> but she's been she got like a warmies for Christmas um do you guys know what those are they're like little stuffed animals that you can put in the microwave and they can um they just are warm 
Uh, she gave me one for Christmas. Our other friend got her one for Christmas. Um, and so his name is Migos, as in Casamigos. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's, it's just fun. I'm so excited to give it to her. Finished her sweater. And then I also made reservations for us um, for Valentine's Day since she has that day off. And neither of us have important men in our lives. Um, I made us reservations at this really nice steakhouse in Rapid City here. It's called Sear. I went there once on a date and whew, it was really good. It was probably one of the best steaks ever. And then they also had um, like you order the steak and then you can have these little like add-ons. And like I love anything that's like truffles, anything that has like truffle in it. So I was able to do like an add-on of truffle butter and then I got some fries and they were like in truffle oil or something. Like I'm really excited to take her there. It was really fun. I just like, she came home from work this week and I was like, I made Valentine's Day reservations for us. And she was like, oh, where are we going? I was like, you can't know. <laughs> and she doesn't watch my videos because I told her not to in this way of like, I don't know like she's she knows me in such a different way and like we also live together so it's just this like I don't know I tell her about everything that I'm filming about anyway every time I finish a project it's done she is subscribed to my channel and so it, it's just a matter and she is very supportive of me it's it's a me problem like I know that if I asked her like hey I would really like if you watched my videos she would she absolutely would and, you know, maybe someday she will on a regular basis, but I'm okay with her not doing that for now because, like, I don't know. <laughs> Something about it just feels a little weird to me. But, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Last night I made wild rice soup from the Magnolia Table Cookbook. It was so good. I'm, like, genuinely excited to eat those leftovers today. I'm so hungry. I might actually end up eating them for breakfast. Like... <laughs> I don't know it's just a matter of like I'm hungry now I don't really have breakfast food and like a pop tart just does not sound nutritious enough but like it's so funny when cookbooks have they're like oh this is how much the this is how long the prep takes this is how long the cooking takes blah blah blah, blah. the prep always takes me so long and maybe I'm just like bad at chopping vegetables but it takes me so long to get that stuff done. And then, like, I'm not crabby, but kind of by the time I'm done. I'm just like, I just want to eat this so bad. <laughs> and it's taking so long to make. <laughs> but, um, no, that one's absolutely worth it. And then earlier this week, we made this thing called uh, Big Mac Casserole. But uh, I'm from Minnesota, so it's a hot dish. Um and that was so good that was just like ground beef cheese pickle thousand island dressing mayo like just all the stuff that's like basically in a big mac and then you just put it in the oven oh that was so good <laughs> yeah so my roommate and i really really like cookbooks and we definitely have like an obscene amount of cookbooks for just two people but um we've been working on We've been working on using them more for recipes and stuff. Because, like, I like Pinterest. And, like, if I'm looking for something super specific, I'll use Pinterest. Or, you know, where else Pinterest is good for, like, cocktails and different things like that. But recipes on Pinterest are kind of difficult because they are always noodle-based. Don't get me wrong. Your girl loves pasta. But it's kind of difficult when they all are noodle-based. And it's like, okay, well, like... What if, what if I have five pounds of rice? I don't know. Like, why is everything noodle-based? Me and my roommate have a really good system of switching off week to week because her schedule changes from week to week. Um, so, like, one week she'll do the meal prep, get all the ingredients, and then the next week I'll do all the meal prep and get all the ingredients and stuff. And honestly, it has worked so well for us. And it's been a really fun way for us to just, like try new things like there obviously are always those staples like tacos and 
my grandparents gave me this um, Mexican hot dish recipe. And then like my mom's chili is my favorite. And then my other grandma gave me her drunken chicken recipe. And those are like staples in this household. But like we want to try different things, especially now that it's winter. All we can really do is stay at home. It's just been so good and like nice. I don't know. The weather is super nice today. I think it's going to get... This week it got into the 50s. Ugh. It'll be interesting to see. I think we're gonna try and watch a movie tonight. Or maybe we'll go to a movie. We have to go see the new Mean Girls, of course. I want to go see it so bad. Um, but I mean, you know what's interesting about the movie theater is that like, oh, you want to go see something so bad, but like, a lot of times they come out on streaming at the same time as they go into the movie theater too. I know Disney's been doing that a lot. So it's just like, I don't know, I love the movie theater though because I love movie theater popcorn and there's nothing like a movie theater like fountain drink or an icy, um, but yeah. Uh, while I was cooking last night, I listened to, I've been listening to Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood, who is also the author of, um, The Handmaid's Tale. And... For the first, I would say about 20 to 30 percent of that book, and like it's not a long book, it's about nine hours ish. So, like, relatively short audiobook, um, short book in general. Um, it is so confusing because you're just kind of like, what is going on and why? But that's kind of the point. And if you can get past the very like confusing beginning. Um, I'm almost done. I'm like 70% through now. I listened to it like all of like cooking and eating and all this stuff yesterday. If you can get through that, oh my gosh, the book is so good. And like I want to, because I've have, I'm trying to check out audiobooks of books that I already own. It's just hard because like I do own a lot of very popular books. So it like, they tend to have pretty long wait times, which is you know, they're popular, so of course. But, um, I've been trying to check out books that I have in my library, and I found that one. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've had this one for a while. Why not? Margaret Atwood's mind. I love, like, I guess it's called, like, alternative futuristic. It, it, like, because it's not dystopian. It, it, it's so hard, because, like, dystopian is... I feel like not reserved for that weird YA craze that we had after the Hunger Games. Because I feel like that's not fair to the genre as a whole. But like, YA really took it for a ride in like 2014. That's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> but it it's so good. So it's about this like dystopian United States where essentially science just went kind of crazy and they started um kind of like splicing animals together um so you know how like in the hunger games they talk about how there are like some cross species and stuff so like the premise or well there's more than just that and like the commentary that this book has on so many different things and yet the way that it's able to do all of that so eloquently I was oh my god I need to read the there's three books in it in that like little trilogy obviously it's whatever um <laughs> but there's three books and the other two are on audio book and they're like always readily available <laughs> and so we'll see how soon I get to those because I am I picked out quite a hefty TBR for February I think I might do my first 24-hour readathon but the thing about it is like I'm not gonna do it in the traditional way like um, I'll just take a weekend that my best friend is working and just like read because like if I were to read for 24 hours straight like I'm a I'm a, I'm an adult with a like a nine to five job like I can't do stuff like that I'm also 26. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. If I do stuff like that, I would feel it for like the next three days. And that doesn't sound fun. 
Um, <laughs> maybe if I, like, take a vacation, I'll do something like that. Um, but it wouldn't be anytime soon. But I, like, calculated, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with my, with the hours that she works on the weekends. That would be, like, 24 hours. So I think I might do something like that. So then I can, like, go through some of those books. And I think it's hard, too, because, um, do, like, a pink theme. But then most of the books are nonfiction, because that is a majority of what I own is, like, nonfiction. Because I, I don't know, I just, like, read fiction books really fast. Which is why Kindle Unlimited is great, and it's, and that's why audiobooks are also great. So, I don't know, I want to read through... A lot of my nonfiction. Which one should I do with my outfit today? I mean, it's literally just black, but I think I might do this more neutrally shade. The shade names in this are so cute too. It's pop off, so complex, zesty, blanc, space, <laughs> noted, bubble up, clink, clink. Arba Arbon, Arbane, and then Get a Grape, which is funny because the darkest shade is called Get a Grape and that has no purple in it at all. No purple at all. But it's, I, I never thought, because I remember looking at this and being like, well, it's kind of boring, but it'll be so nice for like when I'm out and about and stuff, da 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 da. It is so nice because <laughs> it just goes with everything and then I can have like a fun eye look but still wear the fun lipsticks. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do taupe, or is that what this one is? Yeah, taupe. That's what I've been wearing quite a bit recently. Um, I don't know. I definitely, I don't wanna call it like makeup ruts. I mostly just like kinda get into like things where I'm like, okay, this is what I wanna do, and this is what I'm gonna do. And that's just that. I don't know. Does it have to mean anything more? I mean, I have a lot of eyeshadow and I could be a little bit better about playing around with stuff. I like to play around with stuff when I go out at night. Um, since I do like to wear black lipstick, I also like to do like red eye looks um, or pinky or something like that. But um, I don't know, just for filming and stuff, then I can, because then it'll go with every outfit that I decide to do if I decide to change up the lipstick or the jewelry or anything like that. Like, it just kind of goes with everything. <sighs> My wings are going in two different directions. Oh, no. Gosh darn it. Oh, I hate when that happens. What am I going to do? Taylor, what are you going to do about it? How much is it bothering you? Okay, that's better, but mm, now I just now I have fat wings. <sighs> Ugh, I love wing eyeliner, but some days it just don't wing. It's fine. Closer. It's closer. Okay. Alrighty. With that, we are done. It's always hard after I take out a headband and then my bangs have to, like, readjust to sitting downward. I also just trimmed them the other day, so I'm trying to... Alrighty. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty. Thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoy these. I don't know. Let me know what you want me to talk about in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.